What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video, but this is a Super Mario Brothers Wonder Direct reaction. So this is early in the morning for me, and we're just going to hop right into it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move on with the video. Man, I wonder... <laughs> get it? Wonder? Oh, it's starting. Okay. What's going to be like? Oh, so exciting. Alright, alright. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. Flower Kingdom. So distant land, just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Nice. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. Prince Bowser, Florian. The king of the Koopas had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. What? Whoa. Bowser merged with Prince Florian's castle. Wait, that's Bowser? In castle form? I like the art style. It looks pretty good. You best believe I'm gonna have this one day one. Uh maybe have this as a bonus video. Maybe? Oh, that's sad. Newfound power. Chaos spread across the land. Don't worry. Now, it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. All right, we got Nabbit. Okay, and those things. All right, let's In this see. Presentation. We'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, the Super Mario Brothers Wonder mm -hmm. Game. Let's jump in. Flower Kingdom. I like this the so is song Flower too. Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles. Only six. A total of seven areas to explore. Oh. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Once you get past Fluff, the freezing Puff foot of peaks? the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque what? scenery and radiant cascades of shining shiny falls. falls. Traverse multiple islands, petal isles, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves. Uh, part spelunk. Of the Kingdom, the <laughs> There's a game called Spelunky. Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. Whoa. A scorching hot world full of molten magma. Oh, that, oh that's cool. You can a do that. A variety of courses await in each world. Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely through open areas. Okay, this looks like Mario 3D World, spaces, kind of. You're not quite ready to take on a particular course. You can try a different one instead. Play them in any order you like. Once you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the courses menu. Nice. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. I like that. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Get close and onward and upward. How'd you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Koopas taste like. What? I wonder how Goombas taste like. Weirdo. Blue Toad's back. Let's go, Blue Toad. Mario, you can also play as Luigi, Peach, Daisy. Oh, look, Daisy. One of two Toads and Toadette. Oh, they all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. You can kick up now? You haven't, you couldn't hand. do that since Mario World. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Nabbit. Careful though. Yes! Yes! Let's go. Pit, so watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. Alright, new enemies. Copycats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Copycats? 
melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Oh, that reminds me from the SNES version of the island game. You and stick their beaks where they don't belong. Condarts. When conks attack, they'll even plow through goo. All right. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mom moths will eat anything that Whoa. comes too close to their gaping mouths. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas. All right. Koopa Troopas. Boos. Locky Twos. And other familiar Locky Twos. All right. Power ups. Next, let's look at the new power ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing elephant your Mario. To attack enemies. Destroy blocks and even do this. That's awesome. I like that. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? Thank you. Uh, That's Mario like Sunshine, anybody? Huh? It's not just Mario, though. Luigi, the Toads, <laughs> Peach, Daisy, and Toadette all have elephant forms as well. Nice. The bubble form allows you to blow light floating bubbles. They Is this like a to nod to Mario Brothers or New Super Mario Brothers? Bubble? Toward nearby foes. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. Nice. You can even jump off them, like platforms. You know, for once, Peach is not captured. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard-to-reach places. Just well, like she wasn't captured in the 3D world, but, you know. While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky or hard-headed enemies a breeze. Or you can use it to drill down. Mario Galaxy? But it also allows you to burrow and move through the ground. In a tough spot? Dig away! Ah, stealth mode. You can even burrow into the ceiling. That's pretty cool, I like that. Whoa! Wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power up. Okay, so like Mario World, you can save a power up. I like that. Or swap them to better fit the situation. Cool. This is a wonder flower, a plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting changes. Pipes might start moving. A stampede of enemies can appear. All right, all right. The terrain may tilt. You can end up in a free fall. Bubbles might, uh, bubble off. I'm excited for this game. Your perspective can change. Huh? Top or down? You might float through space. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become a Goomba? What? Or a spike ball? Or blow up like a balloon? When you touch a wonder flower, always expect the unexpected. Collect a wonder seed, and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. I'm excited for this game. Really, I am. I know I said that already, but it's really cool. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Poplin. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. Badges? There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. 
slow your fall with the parachute cap badge. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding leap with the crouching high jump badge. Shoot vines in mid I like that. Stick to walls with the grappling vine Spider badge. Mario? Anybody? From dangerous drops instantly Wait, what? with the safety bounce badge. Easily find important items using the sensor badge. Draw in nearby Moolah with the coin magnet badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. You will not stop dashing with jet the jet run. run badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different abilities. From the convenient... I think that's my favorite. The, the... Only one badge can what's be the name? The vine? Course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange Safety flower bounce. coins you collect in courses for badges. Local. Yeah, local. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course what? as a ghost. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. I like Earth that. Won't lose a life either. That's awesome. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also playing huh? as a Yoshi. Oh, that's elephant. cursed. <laughs> I, I love that elephant Mario. If you connect online, you might see other players on the world map and in courses. These are people from around the world enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can oh. come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Cool. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. Yeah, I kind of figured because like in the 2D Mario games... In a course. What? Standees can revive ghosts. So play yeah, with the 2D Mario games, it's like you can only play local. Players. Just stand these surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. Cool. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching the goal pole together, and more will earn you heart points. All right. Sorry for the background noise. If you can hear that, I, I online, truly apologize for that. The option of creating a room to get together with Play friends. friends. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Okay, so racing. Start a race by hitting the race block. Then make a run for it. I'll ask my friends if they want to do this with me. Do it, doing this isn't the only way to finish a race though in some courses you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat a boss instead whether you're casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races you can enhance your experience with online play and look it's fine I i'm okay with that honestly Man, you can throw. I I love that feature, throwing items up. I miss that. We haven't. You couldn't do that, you know, for a while. You can only do that for Super Mario World. Mm. 
Yo. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends when Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Yes. Plus, a new Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red yeah, Edition is To those of you who don't have a Switch, you can get that. We know. You'll find Mario. Mario Edition. The Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition launches October 6th. There you have it, y'all. Yep. So that was the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Direct. I'm excited. I can't wait for it to come out. It's just around the corner. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. Uh, my reaction for this one. So uh, let's wait for the next Nintendo Direct. Obviously, it's going to be in September. We're all waiting for it. This is pretty much it for this video. Like what you see, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. As always, continue to stay safe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace out.